Good morning everyone. Today we are going to learn the immediate constituents or IC analysis of sentences. What is IC analysis? IC analysis is a short form of immediate constituents analysis of a sentences. It is the system of analyzing sentence by getting the immediate constituents of a particular sentence or dividing a sentence into the sections until we get the smallest ICs or immediate constituents of that particular sentence. This analysis system is used to study the syntax or uh, sentence pattern. When we say syntax, it is a branch of linguistics in where the sentence pattern of different languages, the form of sentences, and the importance of words and their roots are analyzed and uh, studied. So, IC analysis is a process of analyzing a sentence by dividing it into various parts or small parts. IC analysis is a system of grammatical analysis that divides sentences into successive layers or constituents until in the final layer each constituent consists of only a word or a meaningful part of word. Example, in the sentence the old man ran away. The first division into immediate constituents would be between the old man and ran away. The immediate constituent of the old man are the word da and the phrase the old man. At the next level, old man is divided into the word old and the word man. Immediate constituent analysis was introduced by the United States linguist Leonard Blomfeld in 1993, though the underlying principle is common both to the traditional practice of parsing and to many modern systems of grammatical analysis. Immediate constituent analysis was developed further by uh, Roland Wells. The process reached a full-blown strategy for analyzing sentence structure in the early works of uh, Noam Chomsky. Most three structures uh, employed to represent the syntactic structure of sentences are products of some form of uh, IC analysis. The process and result of IC analysis can, however, vary greatly based upon whether one chooses the constituency relation of phrase structure grammar or the dependency relation of dependency grammars as the underlying principle that organizes constituents into hierarchical structures. When we say phrase structure grammar, it is a type of generative grammar in which constituent structures are represented by phrase structure rules or rewrite rules. And uh, dependency grammar is a descriptive and theoretical tradition in linguistics that can be traced back to antiquity. It has long been, been influential in the European linguistics tradition and has more recently become a mainstream approach to representing syntactic and semantic structure in natural language processing. I see is based on the notion that a sentence is just not a linear string of word but a sequence of components or a group of words. This group of words are called constituents. When they are joined by horizontal line, they are said to be construction with each other. The construction establish relationship between the constituents. When these constituents are considered as part of successive and reveling of a sentence, they are called immediate constituents or the next element of a sentence. Thus, a sentence is cut into two parts and again into two parts. This is continued until the smallest unit or morpheme is arrived. Example, in the sentence, a young girl with an umbrella chased the boy. First, we can divide the sentence into two. A young girl with an umbrella as the first section and chased the boy will be the another section of the sentence. 
this two section can be divided again like a young girl and with an umbrella same goes to the other section we have chase and the phrase the boy now we can also divide a phrase a young girl into a and young girl and with an umbrella to the word with and an umbrella however on the other section chase on the other section chase we cannot divide a word chased further we can divide in the sense of the word chase there is the past form of the verb because of the suffix d attached to it so we can divide it by mentioning the present form of the verb which is chased and instead of writing suffix d we can mention here the tense of the verb that is in the past form of the verb that's why we have here chase and a uh, past and the boy we can divide it by making the and boy a young girl and an umbrella can be divided into another section like this word young and the word girl also on an and umbrella on this way the sentence was divided into immediate constituents the words a young girl with an umbrella chase the and boy is the constituents of the sentence a young girl with an umbrella chased the boy we cannot divide further the remaining words or it is impossible to divide the remaining words because we already got the smallest constituents of the sentence this sentence was analyzed using the basic purpose of this method and by using the tree diagram but actually the other way of showing the constituents are with uh, vertical lines and brackets like this a young girl with an umbrella chased the boy one of the limitations of the immediate constituent analysis is that it does not indicate the nature and grammatical functions of the constituents to remove the inadequacy the idea of labeling was introduced by uh, Mark Halliday. These labels are two types, the class labels and function labels. Class labels are the noun phrase, verb phrase, article, adjectives, and etc. Function labels are subject, verb, object, and etc. Let's consider this example. Poor Jan ran away. By using IC analysis again, we divide the sentence into two sections, which are poor John and ran away. Poor John and ran away, there is the immediate constituents of the whole sentence. By using labeling, the, the first section, poor John, can be labeled as noun phrase because it is composed of an adjective, which is poor, and John as a noun. And ran away there can be labeled as a verb phrase. The labels, the labels NP there and VP are usually called the nodes. Next, to get the IC of the two sections, we again divide each section. Poor John can be divided into poor which labeled as adjective and John labeled as noun the other section can be divided into run which is labeled verb sorry for the typographical error in the way labeled as adverb understand classmates so for the limitations of IC analysis we have first it cannot analyze structure which do not form proper grammatical groups. For example, she is taller than her sister. Here, suffix er and don cannot be explained properly. Ambiguous sentence cannot be analyzed adequately. For example, time flies. And overlapping also causes a problem for immediate constituents analysis. For example, he has no interest in 
、uh, music. Finally, in, an element remains unstated in sentences like "hit the ball." For the conclusion, I see analysis remains an established method of describing the sentence element. So, in summary, my dear classmate, immediate constituents analysis is a form of linguistic review that breaks down longer phrases or sentences into their constituent parts, usually into、uh, single words. This kind of、uh, analysis is sometimes abbreviated as IC analysis and gets used extensively by wide range of Uh, language experts. This kind of exploration of language has applications for both societal or traditional linguistics in natural language processing in、uh, technology fields. For those who use this kind of analysis to examine text or speech, immediate constituent analysis often requires separating parts of a sentence or phrase into group of words with semantical synergy. Or、uh, related meaning. For example, the sentence "car is the car is fast" could be broken down into two groups of words: the car and "is fast." In this case, the first group contains an article applied to a noun, and the second group contains a verb followed by a、uh, defining adjective. Many kinds of immediate constituent analysis include multi-step processing. For example, the two groups of words "the car" and "is fast" could be split up further into individual words such as "da," "car," "is," and "fast." Reviewers might consider how the article "da" applies to the word "car." For instance, in specifying one particular car. And how the adjective fast describes the verb is, in this case, in a simple rather than a comparative or superlative sense. So that's all for immediate constituents analysis, and thank you so much.